It's time for the Zio at Home Retinol Peel Challenge. Get ready to get very personal as we spend a lot of time in my bathroom as I take you through step-by-step step of this at-home peel. So the main product used for this at-home peel is the Zio Radical Night Repair Full Strength 1% Retinol. And you may recognize this product as an at-home product or you may already use it, but the difference here is we are going to use it very differently for the at-home peel. So normally you might use a pea size amount of this product very sparingly, a very thin layer on the face, maybe two or three times a week. But with this peel, we are going to use a lot more of it and a lot more often. So this peel has three different protocols. So there's mild, moderate, and aggressive. Mild is going to be five pumps a day, AM and PM for three days. Moderate is going to be eight pumps a day, AM, PM for four days. And aggressive is going to be 10 pumps morning and night for five days. And don't let me trick anyone with the term mild here. This is a full strength 1% retinol peel. So even though it's called the mild protocol, this is nothing mild about this. This is a strong peel. So follow the directions and make sure you're doing it right. So with this at home peel, you are absolutely going to hate me for even suggesting it. And then you are going to love me because of the results there will be an anticipated reaction. You are going to get red, sore, flaky, itchy, burny, all of those things. We expect that. If there's no reaction, there's no change in the skin. So make sure you're following the instructions, but also make sure you really try and stick it out because there are so many benefits to this peel program. So for this peel, there are a couple things to consider before you start. You must not be pregnant or breastfeeding and you wanna make sure that you're already accustomed to good medical grade skincare. So you're either using these products or a good medical grade skincare program like Zio. If you're using sort of department store, drugstore skincare, you are going to want to pre-treat your skin first just to make sure that your skin is healthy enough and strong enough to do this protocol but also to get you good results so if you are sort of using more junk products contact us and we'll inform you exactly how to pre-treat your skin beforehand so let's go over what you're gonna need to do this peel at home so at the Vandy lab in clinic and online we sell a full size and a half size version of the at-home peel kit with an instruction card that is going and explain everything you need to do but if you're already using the Zio systems you may already have some of these products at home in which case you can just supplement the individual products into it so for your AM routine you are going to cleanse exfoliate and tone so you're going to be using the gentle cleanser the exfoliating polish and the calming toner after that you are going to go in with daily power defense and then you will finish with the radical night repair the appropriate amount of pumps for which protocol you're doing and then for your morning routine of course you're going to finish off with your sunscreen your evening routine is practically the same but without the exfoliation and of course the sunscreen so cleanse tone daily power radical night repair once you're done either your three four or five day protocol then you can introduce your hydrating creme this is going to be your best friend. You can apply it as many times throughout the day as you need to, just to restore that hydration and soothe and calm the skin. And it's very important to stick to a protocol after the peel as well, while your skin is shedding and going through that healing process and it's a little more compromised. So it's going to be the same thing except for the retinol. So you're going to cleanse, very gently exfoliate, tone and use your daily power defense and your sunscreen. Do not use anything else at this time other than your AM PM routine which we just went over and of course your hydrating creme as much as you need to. Like I said your skin is going to be open and exposed and so absorbent so don't put on any junk products just stick to the rules here with this one. So since this is definitely not my first rodeo when it comes to the at-home peel here are my top 
tips and tricks to making it through the entire program. Tip number one, plan accordingly. So you want to make sure you're not doing this peel around any time that you have a big event coming up or something where you definitely need to wear makeup to because with your skin shedding off or being raw and red, it's not a time that you can be putting makeup on. Ideally, if you could just sort of stay low at home for day four and five when things really start to amp up, or if you can't stay home, just make sure your plans are conducive to you looking like a raw chicken or a shedding snake. Tip number two is exfoliate, don't pick. So with this peel, you can use the exfoliating polish and just gently exfoliate off that top layer of skin once a day. By day four and five, you're gonna find that you can't even use the polish anymore. You're just gonna be swiping it away with the gentle toner. But if you are someone who does not have the self-control to not peel sheets of skin off your face, just don't even do this peel. You need to make sure you are not picking. That being said, not everyone is going to peel from this peel. Some people literally can peel sheets off their face like me. That usually happens with a more dry skin type. If you're not getting the peeling and the shedding, that doesn't mean that you're not getting the benefits from this peel. The retinol is still penetrating those deeper depths. Tip number three is toss the junk. During this peel process, your skin is going to be raw and open and absorbing everything. You do not want to put any junk products on your skin during this peel or for the days following this peel. You wanna make sure that you're sticking to your daily power defense. It's full of DNA repair enzymes that you are absolutely going to need. Tip number four is watch the neck. Now I know I always say my rule is your face ends up your nipples and to carry all your skincare down, but we are going to ignore that rule for this at home peel. The neck and chest are going to react so much more than the face, they'll get itchy and rashy and irritated beyond what we would expect with the face. It is just not worth it. So stick to the face and avoid going past the orbital rim. Otherwise you are really gonna hate me because the neck and chest just react so much more. And the issue is that some people will carry it down on day one or two and think that they're reacting fine. But you have to remember that with retinol, there is a delayed response in the cells. So it's gonna be day three, four, five, where it really starts to flare up. And from there, it's just gonna get worse and worse if you've been continually applying it to those areas. So just skip those areas altogether. Tip number five, avoid the sun like the plague. You do not wanna be out in the sun with that fresh new baby skin, that raw pink skin. Make sure you're reapplying your sunscreen. Tip number six is try to stick it out. No matter how tough you are when it comes to retinol, everyone wants to quit this around day three and a half, day four, you're ready you're raw, you're irritated, but if you can just stick it out because the longer you go with this peel, the deeper the depth of penetration. And a little bonus tip, do not even start this peel unless you have the hydrating creme. A lot of people already have this product at home and they think they can do it. If you don't have the hydrating creme, just wait till you get it. Do not start without it. You will really regret it. So you are going to be cursing my name for even suggesting that you do this peel once you're a few days in, but trust me, try to stick it out. The results are amazing and they are so worth it. Now we're gonna show you day by day, one of the times in the past when I did this peel and just notice that there are some things that have changed with the protocol because this is several years old. So things like the pads, or the renewal cream are gonna be in there, but just stick to what we went over today because since filming that video the last time, Zio has released products like the hydrating creme and this is the protocol that you must follow for this peel. All right, so today is day one of my at-home stimulator retinol peel. So I have my radical and light repair retinol. Here we go. So I'm just gonna cleanse the skin quick. And now on to my daily power defense. All right, now it's time for the big guns. So I'm doing the aggressive form of this peel. So that is 10 pumps twice a day, five days. Here we go, session one, wish me luck.
You really need to make sure to avoid the whole eye area, so don't go past the orbital rim where that bone is. You wanna give yourself actually quite a bit of space around the eye because it will just transfer naturally and you don't want your eyes to peel off. Ta-da! So that is day one, second application done, day one p.m. I feel like I should be having you guys count like Dora the Explorer. Four, five, six. Here we go. All right, day two AM application is done. So my face is getting a little red and pink, but um, still no peeling or anything crazy yet. All right. So it's gonna be hard to see just cause of the lighting. I'm starting to get a touch of peeling around the nose and around the mouth. Those are usually the first places to start, but I'm assuming later today or in the evening. <laughs> Good job. So I'm assuming I'll have more peeling later today, but tomorrow is when it should really start because this is day 3 a.m. Welcome back to my bathroom. This is day 3 p.m. So we're officially over the halfway mark. And this is sort of around the time where this peel stops being fun and cute and starts being serious. So I did have some peeling today. My nose is feeling a little bit burny. You're starting to see red, blotchy, irritated, some sort of raw areas. All right, here we go. So a lot of people do throw in the towel at day three or day four, but do try and keep it going. Um, when people ask me how uncomfortable it is, like it's really not uncomfortable right now. Day four and five do get uncomfortable, but it's nothing that's not tolerable. Oh, I just put some directly on my neck. Ooh, I'm gonna feel that in a couple days. Okay, let's focus on the face. I'm getting distracted here. All right, now we are done. That is day three. Cheers, two more days to go. My face is a mess, which it should be. That's to be expected. But you can see the peeling and the blotchiness and the redness. Here we go. You really feel it now. Here we go. It is day four p.m. application. So this is the part in the peel where your face screams, don't do it, because you know it's gonna get so much worse in a few days, but we're gonna do it. Here we go. All right, we made it day five a.m. Here we go. So my neck is peeling like crazy. My face is peeling off. I'm not sure if you can see it. Not too bad. I feel like I'm possibly reacting a little bit less this time than the previous time I did it. You guys, I can't get over it. I'm so puffy yet tight. I look like an inflated raisin version of myself. So here we go. It's where things start to get interesting. We've made it day 5 p.m. So I'm red, dry, tight. Not too crazy this time around, but that may still change. My skin's really tight. You might see as I talk right here under my eyes. Kind of has all these dry lines under. Just because it's so tight, that's the most flattering thing. So I do, I look sunburnt for sure. Uh, and yeah, dry and tight, but 
I don't know, it's been going good so far. Onto the calming toner. Wow, you can already see how reflective my forehead is. Just rubbing off that dull, dry skin. So even though this is my last application, I'm still gonna check in with you tomorrow to show you what my face looks like. All right, guys, last 10 pumps. I'll be glad to say goodbye to this for a little while. Here we go. Oh, this is not gonna feel good in the morning. But we are done. Just like that, we are done the full aggressive strength at home retinol people. Ta-da! Stay tuned for results. So a bit of a follow-up. It's officially day six. My skin is red, irritated, tight. I'm not super flaky right now because I've kind of just taken it all off a little bit ago, but tight. Everything is so tight. Uh, my skin, it's really hard to pick it up on the camera, but it's all, everything. Like it feels weird to even move my mouth because the skin around it is so tight. So it's tight, it's red, it's dry, the usual. All right, morning of day seven update. Skin is still flaky, dry and tight. I don't think I'll really be able to put on any makeup today other than maybe just like a tinted moisturizer because I'm gonna be hydrating all throughout the day. You can kind of see it looks like I have dandruff, but it's just my, the sides of my face peeling off. So I am officially done my at-home retinol peel. I'm obsessed with my results. I feel like my skin is smoother, my pores are tighter, my pigmentation is lighter. I love the results and that's why I come back every year and I do it religiously, but you do really hate it for like a good five days or more. But you got this, you will love it. And don't forget your sunscreen. Make sure to check out the information page on our website and read it completely before you start. If you have any questions at all, you can always contact us, wear your SPF, and good luck.